look at your odds for today's video i am going to show you what i usually do as a healthcare virtual assistant after a year with my client so if you're interested and if you just want to chill with me then just keep on watching let's go alam nyo ba the reason why i started this video again is because Marami nakakapansin sa akin dito sa YouTube, which I am very, very, very thankful for. Alam nyo ba, may mga certain people na nag-comment and nakita ko a year ago, six months ago, the most recent was a month ago. So, I, I do apologize for all those people na hindi ko na-replayan agad. I know that you were expecting an immediate response, but I was not able to. Pasensya na po talaga. To answer those questions, I will be making videos where we will going to talk about what happened after, okay? So for now, I'm just going to show you what I usually do as a virtual assistant. I can show you a lot of things that is for me, first time kong maging a work from home personnel. <laughs> first time kong mag work from home. So, hindi ako masyadong familiar sa mga ganap, sa mga galawan, sa scheduling and all, but it made me realize how important time is with our family. So, although night shift ito, marami ako nagagawa during daytime, Philippine time, which made me realize na marami pala talaga akong na-missed when my kiddo was born. And this time, bumabawi talaga ako. So, I am going to start my shift today at this hour and I am going to show you what I usually do every Monday and I will discuss them one by one mga hindi mababagot dyan matatapos yung video na to again, before we proceed this disclaimer, personal opinions and experiences tara! <laughs> So, salamat sa pagsama sa akin sa aking first task. To give a recap, what I did with that video was admin task. On the very first hour until the end of the shift, I prioritize the ones that are assigned to me on a weekly basis. I'll share it with you guys soon pagkasyahin natin for today's video. Anyway, going back, I have two monitors. So, sa monitor kong yan, no need for you to be intimidated sa dalawang monitor. Because I intended to have the second monitor is because nag data entry ako before. I have to make use of the second screen for me to do other tasks. Because if I am not going to do that, it will really take me a very very long time to finish just a certain task or for one task only matatapos yung isang araw yun lang gagawin ko which my client would really not approve of so of course for me to be efficient kailangan mo nang i-maximize yung time na bibigay sa iyo and sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam 8 hours per day lang yung allotted time we can do overtime but as much as possible hindi na yun lang yung advice sa amin unless emergency cases or parang may additional task ganon and as a virtual assistant we don't need that extra amount of time if hindi naman reasonable we want our client to trust us naman di ba and dapat efficient and productive naman tayo sa schedule natin so yun lang naman I guess that is it. I was planning to do this video all throughout the week, but gusto ko kayong bitinin. Bakit ba? 
<laughs> oh, nakapagod mag-edit. For now, ito lang muna ang gagawin ko. This is just one of my tasks. And as you have seen from the previous clip, we receive phone calls. I do outbound calls, sometimes inbound calls. Sometimes, mostly, most of my tasks, admin-related tasks. So usually, we can uh, do it or without calling people because usually I deal with insurances, authorizations, and so on. So that's what I usually do. And the rest, I can specify it. But of course, if you would like part two of my task, or if you want to know more about my task as an HVA, then you just let me know. You can see sa mga previous parts sa video ko, may mga time na umiinom tayo ng tubig, hindi na ako comfortable sa position ko. Sometimes ganun ako pag nasistress, kaya hayaan nyo na. Doon naman sa part na nagtatayo-tayo ako kasi masakit talaga yung likod ko, Dash. If tanong nyo is na-overwhelmed ba ako, yes, I believe we all are. We experience burnouts. Marami pa akong pwedeng i-chika sa inyo guys. Kaya let me know if you need part 2 of my tasks and I'll share it with you. How I overcome it. I can share that to you guys. And you can overcome it too if you are currently an HBA or a virtual assistant. Because later on, after this video, after this shift, I will be preparing my son because papasok siya sa school niya. And as a mom, walang energy ang dapat masayang. Because we are a mom. Super. <laughs> Nabas ko pinagagawa ko. Anyway, I hope this video helped enlighten you to know more what is really an HVA. Magdidepende talaga yan sa client na nag-hire sa'yo. Okay? Any questions, clarifications, just let me know. You can PM, you can comment down below. I'm just happy that I'm back. Yun lang. Before I say goodbye, adios. Flex ko lang tong hoodie ko from Nike Air. <laughs> Nabili ko siya ng 1-8 from 3-4. <laughs> Nike, baka yan na. <laughs> Yun lang. Bye mga kacharots. Namiss ko kayo. See you in my next video. Bye!